Hello, welcome to MapLibre tutorial number three. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D terrain and uh, display it uh, on interactive map uh, just with couple lines call. And in the last two videos, I will show you how to uh, get a map tiler API key so they can use the vector tile from uh, map tiler. And I also show you how to use some of the base maps. And in this video, I'm going to get into 3D so they can create some stunning 3D terrain. Uh, just with a couple lines code. So let me go back to uh, the examples in here. So if you want to see what it looks like, uh, you can click the maps.jshub.org. And then thanks to uh, Map Tyler for extending the um, uh, the API so that now I can use it. Um, I exceed the limit uh, quite easily, but uh, they give me uh, more quota. So now I can actually show you the demo. And if you can click the uh, two of the demos or 3D terrain.html. So this one doesn't require uh, the map tiler API key. So you can see the 3D terrain. Uh, you need to hold the control key on your keyboard and then drag your mouse. You'll be able to see the 3D. So this one is from uh, map tiler. Uh, no, no, from uh, map library. It's just a demo. So it's a very small area. You can also look at the second one, uh, 3D terrain uh, underscore one. So this one is the full 3D uh, at the global scale. So you can see the 3D terrain. And also uh, with the set image imagery overlaid, uh, overlaid on top of that and it's at the global scale so you can go to anywhere and so literally you can create something like this just with two lines of code and uh, i'm going to show you how to do that uh, in this uh, tutorial so let me go back to the uh, documentation here and you can scroll down here to find uh, this one 3d terrain and then click this one so here shows you the source code and you can run it using Google Collab. So open this one and then uh, just get your API key, then uh, specify, set the map title API key here. Then you should be able to run the source code. I'm going to run it on my local computer because it's a lot more uh, smooth. So I'm going to open this uh, tutorial notebook in here and let me zoom in a little bit so see more clearly. And um, so first let's import the library. Uh, of course you need to install the package if you don't already know how to do that. I'm going to import uh, the map libre uh, plotting backend. And then, so uh, if you haven't set that one as an environment variable, then you need to set your API key here. And so let me just run this code block and then we can explain what this is doing. So take a look. So now you can have this 3D map uh, within the browser, hold on the control key, then you can drag and then you can see this in 3D. If you zoom out, uh, you will notice here we only have this uh, very small demo so this one is the data from uh, map uh, libre uh, they provide it so it's free and you don't need an api key so take a look so essentially what this one is doing is we have the open stream map overlaid on top of the digital terrain so look at this one so this is the style uh, the style is actually the one that's um, using the map box style or the map libre uh, style uh, if you want to learn more you can go to the uh, leave a uh, map libre documentation here. Let me quickly show you where do they come from. So they come from the uh, style spec. If you go to the style spec and then from here go to the root, this is where you see find all the specification uh, what are supported. So you can see, for example, different types, uh, different sources, and so for example, terrain. Um, so take a look at some of these in here. We don't use all of them, but um, so in terms of for the terrain, let me come back to here. So we have basically multiple data layers. Uh, the source basically is just the data source. The layer is basically rendering the layer from the source. So you can have a single data source and then you can have multiple data layer, basically different representation. Uh, in this case, we have um, the data layer is in here, the layers coming from the open stream app and also the hue shape uh, from here and also the terrain. The terrain is used to have the DM. So basically extract the elevation from the DM so that you can have this kind of 3D. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated, but if you want to look at the source code, you're welcome uh, to do that. And so you can see this. Also, we have the pitch. The pitch controls uh, the 3D terrain. So if you set to zero, you'll be just uh, looking at right now. So um, this is not 3D, right? So it's looking at the map. So if you drag your mouse and hold your mouse and then to bring this one. So this is basically uh, control the pitch. So the higher the value, the more you're looking at, for like, for example, horizontally rather than looking right now. So if you change this value, for example, to maybe uh, 40, you will notice the differences, right? So if you're looking at, I think the maximum is 60. So um, looking like from on the ground, so horizontally like this. And also there's a bearing. So B-A-R, 
ing so this one controls the direction from the nose right so if it's zero it will be pointing right to the nose uh you'll be for example 30 degrees to the nose whoops and we notice it rotate to the left so it'll be like this so when you drag your mouse so this one controls the bearing okay uh, from zero degree to 360 so you can do it like this and this one controls the, the pitch the pitch is drag uh, up and down so this one controls the pitch left and right controls the uh, the bearing and so this is how you can do that uh, easily uh, certainly this is just demo and as you can see the top layer here this one is the open stream app, but you can turn it to any any, any other data layers that you like so let me show you how to do that uh, the layer here this is the raster layer that controls uh, the top layer and you can change it to something else if you already know the url so in this case i know there's open uh, topo map so i can change this one to open topo map open topo map and then run it and then run again take a look very super easy um and now we have the open topo map overlay on top of this huge sheet uh dm it's pretty nice right so you can see i can change the data layer similarly if you have any other raster data layer let me show you uh, for example how you can overlay a satellite data layer so i'm going to go to here create a new map uh, leaf map dot map and then m so in this case i don't need to add any data layer but um i can come to here and a new code block and then map dot add a base map okay and just run this one it's going to add the open uh, google map if you want the satellite map i can use the um the h3 wall imagery so take a look right so this is the one you can control the opacity so how about okay we want to overlay this set of imagery so this is just 2d it's not 3d at all but how can we see over there you did you turn this one it doesn't look like 3d it's just a flat map and but we can easily get the url and then we can put it on top of the 3d map so what we can do here once you create a map you can just map dot uh, layer tick okay so the layer dictionary and it's going to show you um the ui or to this base map so what you're looking for is this one this is the esri uh, xyz tie uil so if you again you can use any other uil if you know that so i'm going to just control c and then come to here then just replace this one with the uh, esri base map and that's it everything else you can just use the same i just run this one and then run it take a look so now we have this 3d map and uh the set imagery overlay on top of the the, uh, the digital terrain see how cool it is right very very simple and um, just thanks to whatever you, way you want so this is how you can use it for free there's no api key required uh, even better so if you want to just use the um, 3d terrain from the map tyler api then you just need pretty much one line of code so you can set the center zoom so these are all the pretty standard one then all you need to do is just use the style and then just type 3d hyphen terrain and take a look let me remove this one so you can see here so this is the uh saint helen um uh, volcano right so take a look I, I can zoom in you can zoom out and we, we don't need to set a style because um leaf map has the function to actually help you construct something from like this construct the style and then so that you don't have to worry about uh the url and all the settings all we need is just this one the 3d terrain and take a look so pretty cool again this is global scale so you can go to anywhere you like and take a look how cool it is compared to just using the 2d uh, mapping and one nice thing about this is that you can control the uh, other parameters like uh, exaggeration so let me show you how you can do this one and i'm going to show you um because by default if i'm using the 3d terrain um i'm not sure if you can provide the exaggeration or not uh, maybe the what's that set like equal to force let me see if it works or not so if i implement uh not this one so it, it doesn't work this way so let me show you the other way how you can actually customize the train so that you can have different uh, uh exaggerations what you can do here is to get the style equal to map dot uh underscore get a 3d train style so this 3d train style actually has uh couple of parameters that allow you to customize for example if you want do you want the satellite layer or not or do you want uh, how much it is the exaggeration by default it's going to be one so it's going to same as the reality but we can customize it so let me show you 
first we can set for example satellite equal to post that means right now we don't need the satellite and then you can do the same thing i'm going to copy this one here and so here for the style that means right now we customize the style and take a look so this one right now we don't have the satellite because we turn that off right and if you want it i can set it to two and the second parameter is the exact duration as i mentioned by default it's one so we can change it to two and then run this one take a look you're going to have a different mountains compared to this one right so this is uh, the reality just one is not exaggerated this one right now is two and take a look it's much more uh basically the height changed to two so uh, whatever the elevation it was earlier it was 1000 now it's 2000 so you see a lot more differences and then you can zoom in you can zoom out uh, for example there's another one here i don't know the name but you can clearly see um differences and you can turn around how cool it is this so you can easily customize uh, the style again this one requires the map tyler api key so you do need to have an api key and this is why uh, in the demo here i can show you uh, it works because you use the map tyler api key but you can only render from this url because i restricted it uh, so that people cannot abuse the uh, api right and you are welcome to customize to this whatever uh, way you want and I believe you can also turn on the um, layer control so I can map dot um, layer um, add not sure if it works or not I haven't tested it. layer control okay it doesn't work in here but I think you can also add a, a, a base map layer so I can say background layer equal to because all the layer has been added as the style so it's background layer so I can turn this one off it works so uh, equal to two okay yeah see now it works right so this is the satellite and this is the hues but uh, hues basically is the um the hue shape is coming from something like this over like here so it's the hues basically is the uh, the hue shape like data layer so we have two data layers and we also the dm data source so in this way you can control uh if you want to uh turn the layer on and off it's up to you something you want to provide to the users uh you can still do that uh, so this is how you can uh, add data layer and again this is just the base map but you're welcome to add more data layers to it so for example i can on top of this one i can add a uh, base map and maybe i can also add the open topo map see if it works open topo map and it's going to all drag on top of the dm hopefully does it work okay yeah it works so take a look so now this open topo map is being dragged on top of the the setup map see how cool it is so essentially you can overlay any layers uh, but of course this resolution is not super good so it doesn't look uh as nice but it, it it's unlimited so it has a lot of potential so you can get any data layer uh you want i can certainly also use maybe um the google maybe the google terrain okay it's also direct on top of that yeah so look at this uh, it's a little bit exaggerated because we used uh, uh, exaggerate two, but if I change to one, and you want it as original one, so see now we have the DM. Uh, this is the Google terrain, so the color looks pretty nice. And again, this is all kind of like 3D, right? Oh, okay. Now we can see the names because you can see all the labels, uh, mountain items, right? Zoom to anywhere you like, so you can just navigate and you can explore the terrain now in 3d just essentially two lines of code this is going to be so much better than the traditional 2d mapping uh, it's going to render on the fly so you see sometimes it takes time to load all the tiles because it's doing all the conversion uh, on the fly but wow do you see it's so cool okay so this is what i want to show you uh, in this video i uh, hope you find it useful in the next video we're going to talk about 3d buildings so uh, stay tuned thank you for watching take care bye bye see you in the next video